Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Hoffersen and on this channel here we are talking about skincare and uh, I don't use a filter so I don't hide behind a filter. So when you see me here it is just as if you saw me on the high street. Apart from when I'm out and about I am usually wearing a sunscreen and uh, I'm not doing that today and that is because we're going to test a sunscreen. We are going to test a Korean uh, sunscreen, one that I've heard uh, a little bit about already. It was uh, a review by a guy called Hiram and uh, he liked uh, this one here rather a lot it is from a comedy called uh, cynic i think it's supposed to be said but in korean it is a kung sang ka and uh, i'm not that good at korean but i, I do my best so uh, this one here it is an spf of 50 plus as you can see here and they call it enjoy super mild sun essence they call it a sun essence and normally you hear that it's called a, a sunscreen or something like that but uh, a sun essence and uh, it seems like they're referring to the fact that it is also something that is moisturizing and good for your skin in all sort of ways basically but uh, i think uh, when you are picking up something like this what you are mostly uh, interested in is if it is working as a sunscreen then the other stuff comes uh, later i would say so it is uh, supposed to be an spf of a 50 plus and when i say supposed to be then of course this is, is a, a korean sunscreen so we don't really have uh, any of these uh, european standards for if it is actually what it says on the tin so there is no uh, uva in a circle and stuff like that so uva in a circle that is something the companies themselves are putting on in a way but uh, there are no uh, boots rating or to the star rating there's none of that on it and uh, that is kind of like uh, you're thinking how can i then rely on that it's actually given me an spf of 50 plus well the reality is that you can't and uh, the thing is it might be that it's giving you an spf of a 50 plus it also has a one of these uh, other measures as you can see down here the pa and four pluses so that it is supposed to be the best of the best in uh, regards to uh, if you are giving some uh, sort of a uh, dark spots on your skin so again there is no really um, European standards for if it is actually uh, true. But uh, there is uh, something else about uh, this uh, product here. And that is uh, something I am told you have to look out for. And that is uh, you need to know if it is actually a functional uh, cosmetics. So um, that is uh, something that will say in Korean up here at the back. And it says uh, Kinang Song Ha Jang Pum. And that is supposed to mean that it is a functional cosmetic as in it is actually doing something for your skin and in this case here it is helping you to be protected uh, against UV light so uh, let's have a little um, unboxing and see how it uh, looks it is uh, actually uh, supposed to be uh, really like a, a nice sort of a gel like texture and uh, when you open it it, it does have a, a nice uh, sort of a that one say mayonnaise sort of a texture to it I would say so uh, if you just have a, a little look, there's no perfume in it. And uh, in respect of the, um, the UV filters, then there are none of these uh, salicylates in it. So there isn't uh, any of these uh, derivative of salicylic acid that we normally hear about uh, in the, a lot of uh, sunscreens like homo salad or etyl salicylate. So that's uh, a good thing that there's none of that stuff in it. So uh, the thing is that uh, there is a lot of uh, modern filters uh, in this uh, product uh, here. And that of course means that uh, you cannot uh, easily get it in America and I would say in general it's not particularly easy to come by but um, it was possible uh, on Amazon. And uh, I would say there are uh, a little bit of some uh, issues in the sense of if you're thinking about is it actually an SPF of a 50? I mean we hear Hiram say in his uh, review that uh, it is, it is folks he says. So. Um, I don't know how he can uh, say that, but uh, I am just a little bit skeptical because the thing is that a lot of these uh, UV filters, they are very, very oily. And uh, some of them are s things that uh, need to be dissolved in oil as well. So it means that you need to have a lot of uh, oily stuff going on in your uh, sunscreen. And that is why sunscreens, they are usually very greasy. So uh, there are, of course, uh, things like a uh, silica, and there is a silica in this product here, and that can sort of uh, stem the tide of madness from all that sort of uh, greasiness. But I would say uh, the silica is not uh, very high up uh, in the ingredients list. It's not as high up as I thought it would be if it would be doing any sort of a really sort of a um, stemming the tide of malice again, as I say, uh, from uh, the greasiness. So uh, I would say that's a, a little bit uh, odd, but uh, it might simply be that uh, if this was tested by a consumer uh, counselor in the, the UK or in Denmark, where I come from, then uh, they might say that uh, actually it does not live up to the mark of SPF 50 plus. And it is so that a lot of these times that these uh, councils, they are testing sunscreens, a lot of even uh, well-known brands, they uh, fall through and they 
do not live up to uh, what is said on the tin. So uh, maybe uh, there might be a little bit of an issue uh, with this one here, but I don't know. I am just a little bit skeptical. And uh, I would say uh, when I tried it on, and we will just uh, use uh, the correct amount, of course. That is about 1.25 milliliters, and that's only one milliliter in this one. So we need a little bit of a top on this thing here. So uh, let's just uh, put a little bit uh, in here. And it does have uh, this sort of a uh, yellowish, uh, greenish hue, which I would like to see because uh, these filters, they are, some of them, they are yellow to sort of a greenish. So uh, when you have something that is completely white and it says that it contains these um, sun filters, then you think, really so oh how much so uh, this uh, stuff here i will just give it a, a little bit more maybe uh, sort of uh, like that so you don't want to use over the top way too much but you don't want to be uh, using too little either so uh, maybe i don't know if you can see it has a sort of a yellowish um, greenish uh, sort of a hue to it and uh, that is uh, because of those uh, filters basically but there is also uh, another thing and that is uh, there is in here something called tinosorb m and that is uh, something that is uh, not dissolvable in uh, in oil and what that means is that uh, it is uh, simply just a powder uh, on your skin it's just like a uh, titanium dioxide or zinc oxide it is uh, acts uh, as a, a physical sort of a filter though it is a, a chemical uh, filter and uh, that means that yes it will show up on your skin so uh, this one here i heard in the review it uh, would not give any sort of a wide cast but i'm thinking if you're using uh, the correct amount and you have a darker skin than i have then i think you will be able to see a sort of a a little bit of am i white am i not white even on my skin I went light, oh, in this light, it does look a little bit white, and in another light, it didn't look that much. It just means there is a little bit, and when you are looking uh, at your eyelids up here, then uh, it does uh, collect uh, up there, and that is uh, most likely the tinosorbium that collects there, and also in wrinkles underneath your eyes. So again, if you have the dark skin, I think it is something that will uh, show up in the uh, creased lines here and there. So we just uh, take uh, the whole thing like that, so we can have a test, and as I said, there is no perfume in it, but uh, chemicals, they, 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 they do have a sort of a smell, but it's, it's not something dramatic in, in any way uh, whatsoever, so that's, um, that's great. And you see, it has a sort of um, gel-like uh, sort of a texture. So we just uh, put uh, this stuff on. So maybe I'll just put, no, I put it on the entire face, you can see the difference. It goes on a little bit wide to begin with, but uh, any sort of cream does that. But uh, the thing is, when you're putting this stuff on, you can kind of like feel that there is this sort of um, whitish powder in it, and that is, as I said, the Tinosorb M. And uh, it gives this sort of a bluish, uh, sort of whitish um, cast. And uh, it is, of course, not a, a mineral uh, sunscreen, so it will not be something dramatic. But uh, the problem with the Tinosorb M, and I think that is why it is not used that often in sunscreens, it is simply that it gives this sort of a uh, whitish uh, cast. But uh, usually, when you see um, on TikTok particularly, you might see some uh, Korean girls, and they are very sort of uh, white in the face. and has a sort of a glass-like uh, look to the skin. And I think if you are that sort of, type that would like that sort of look you would not be able to notice this stuff here uh, on your skin because it would just be a very slight uh, white um, cast nothing dramatic but i just think if you have dark skin it might be an issue so now uh, this stuff here um i'm pretty sure that hiram he said that it was really good for uh, oily skin because it was so uh, sunk in well to the skin on or something uh, along those lines um but i'm thinking this stuff here it is not as greasy as you might expect from a sunscreen but uh, again coming back to the spf of 50 plus it just makes you wonder is it actually an spf of 50 plus we don't really know but i would say during the day it um, it just keeps being a sort of a greasy and uh, definitely this is not just something that's gonna disappear on your skin that it it, it won't but um it has these sort of uh, modern filters in it and it did not, and I just put this stuff on my eyelids as well, it did not uh, annoy my eye in, in any way. Um, maybe just as if you have something a little bit uh, oily on your skin or something like that. But it definitely it was not the, the sun filters that in any way uh, annoyed my eye. So in that sense, it, it worked uh, very well. So yeah, now this um, 
it, it feels a little bit like as said mayonnaise to put uh, on your skin but um i think this is not something that uh, will just uh, disappear and again the usual thing is that I think when people are testing this sort of stuff, they are not using the correct amount and it just means that they don't really get the correct sense of how it feels uh, on the skin. And I think if you have heard that this should be something that is uh, really, really good for the skin and it should not be greasy or anything like that, then uh, you might think that you just put on so that it feels nice and that must be good enough. But uh, you need to use uh, the correct amount. And I think something like this, there is a chance that you are putting way too little on in order to uh, combat the, the sort of uh, the greasiness because Korean sunscreens, they're not supposed to be greasy or that is what we hear. But uh, I think if you're using the correct amount, then uh, they are uh, greasy or they are white or stuff like that. And uh, those Korean sunscreens, I have uh, tried so far. I have not uh, found any that I uh, thought was reliable and uh, definitely not something I would use again. I would say this stuff here, it gives this sort of um, sort of a greasy glass like sort of a look and it, it keeps being uh, this sort of a shiny maybe it it, it does down a, a little bit but it will it will keep being this sort of um extra layer of something uh, that is a, a little bit uh, to the white side somehow so uh, yes i think it's a good thing that uh, it doesn't contain uh, some of these uh, salicylates but uh, apart from that i would say um uh, I'm not really, um, I'm not trusting a, a product uh, like this. I, I don't really think that it does give an SPF of a 50 plus. It could be interesting to see some of these uh, European uh, consumer councils testing some of these uh, Korean uh, sunscreens, but I I haven't seen that uh, so far. So maybe one day they will. But uh, yes, uh, I would say, is it something that is super, super perfectly good uh, I, I really don't think it is it is greasy but um yeah it's, it's um definite i mean now it's a little bit warm uh, where i'm filming here but uh, earlier today it was uh, it was still greasy and going out and about it was greasy as well and uh, you might think that it would be uh, water resistant but it's definitely it's not and usually when you have these uh, modern filters in it uh, they are very good uh, and putting into something that is a uh, water resistant but uh, this stuff here you can just very easily take it off with the water and again that makes me think that maybe there are not enough of these uh, filters in it in order to uh, give it a SPF of a 50 plus but uh, yes that is just my view on this stuff here I think uh, this is not something I'm going to buy again it has a sort of a greasy feel on the skin and uh, it is not water resistant it will come off when you are sweating and, and stuff like that so uh, it would not be something that would be really good on the beach where uh, you might be having a dip in the, in the water in the ocean so uh, yes in that sense uh, this stuff here um, is not something I'm gonna buy again so that was my uh, little uh, verdict uh, on this stuff here it was a, a greasy affair i would say and i am a little bit uh, skeptical that it actually does give an spf of a 50 plus so uh, yes that was my verdict if you like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do other things please do not to be notified when i upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye